Hey playmates, welcome back to our clubhouse. Hope you guys are doing good. Today is the first day of November period. And I'm so excited. You guys know this is like my favorite time of the year. October, November, December period. And it's kind of bittersweet because I'm sad that October is over. October is probably my favorite month. And I love spooky season and doing spooky makeup looks and stuff. But, you know, my birthday is in November. So Scorpio season per... Um, so yes, I'm excited. Um, I have my like school shirt for Dia de Muertos, so that's exciting. And I'm just living so far. Yesterday was Halloween, and it was pretty chill. I watched 30 Days of Night, which was really good. I watched it before, um, maybe like for I watched it for the first time maybe two years ago. So I was like, let me just rewatch it. It's on Netflix, and then I watched. Um, a Once Upon a Time because if Once Upon a Time was like my favorite show when I was growing up but I didn't get to finish it so I'm on like season five of uh, season six I'm, I'm on the second to last season so that was really fun just brought back memories of me hurrying up to do my homework and yeah that's all I have to say right now um, it feels really good outside it's like windy but hopefully it doesn't rain it like wants to sprinkle a little bit so hopefully we're good I don't know trying to get you guys look at a good angle but anyways I'm just rambling today's play date is us reading it starts with us by Colleen Hoover um, I really enjoyed it ends with us it was very intense and it's the reason why I love reading Colleen Hoover's books it's always very just I don't know she just makes it so entertaining to read and just it's very everything is just so heartbreaking and the love is like really passionate um, but it's always some type of turmoil and some type of secret that's going on that's gonna like just shock you <laughs> into pieces because she makes us oh, oh she makes us like get so attached to these characters that makes you like fall in love with them so it's pretty crazy and watching my and this video is gonna have spoilers by the way just like the other video but I just wanted to say that watching I can, really good way to do this vlog because watching my vlog from reading it ends with us which is the first book um was very entertaining to me because just seeing my journey of me loving and get being so giddy and attached and so um having a crush on ryle and then just how heartbreaking it was when we learned that he doesn't know how to effectively control his anger and that he's you know he does domestic violence so um and domestic abuse so i was just like wow so I love how she laid that out because literally we're going through this journey with Lily and we're falling in love with Ryle as well. And so we can definitely see how um, like it can happen to like, like everybody says see the warning f or the red flags and the warning flags. But sometimes they're not as apparent to us at that certain moment. And also these are like people who, it could be anyone, mayors, neurosurgeons, like it could be anyone. It's not just your typical person who you would think, you know. So. And you know, he came from a good family background, so you're thinking, oh, this is really, really good, but nope. So, yes, you guys, so I gave, so you guys can go watch my reading vlog on that. It was quite a ride. And so now I couldn't wait to read. It um, starts with us. First of all, I love this cover. Wait, hold on. I to get like a thumbnail. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I love the covers of both of the books. I think I love this cover. It's a little bit more, though. I love the flowers and the pool and it just I don't know I just love it and I love to swim if you did not know um I've been swimming since maybe I would like when I was um maybe five I just always loved swimming and I don't know and then my brother he taught me how to do the backstroke like swimming backwards and floating backwards and that was such an interesting experience for me because I was just like I was so little back then and I was just really scared, but it's really about trusting yourself and like, you know, it seems really scary to lay, lay in the water, but you'll be okay once you learn. And now that's like my, I'm sorry about the background noise, y'all. Um, but yeah, and then when I, on my trip, when I went to Florida in 2019, our hotel was like a high rise, so they had a rooftop pool. And I love that so much because at night I could just swim backwards, um, do a backstroke and look up at the stars and the moon. That was like the most amazing experience to me. So I've always liked um, just keep swimming. I used that in like my college essays and my academic writing. I would tie keep, just keep swimming somewhere because I like that metaphor a lot um, as well. So this book really just hits home to me because that's one of my favorite quotes 
and the mantras to live by just keep swimming so I don't know why my bookmark keeps falling out. Uh, no, it's so windy. I'm trying to take advantage of it because I'm in I'm living in Mexico right now and usually it's like really really hot so I'm trying to get all of the wind that I can get and um, yes so right now I read I couldn't go to sleep so I was up to like 2 a.m but I kept like waking up falling asleep and dozing off so I didn't really read that much but I started reading this book yesterday like in the wee hours and I'm on page 58 so far and I'm really liking the um, how it's starting with you know we've known that Lily was trying to end the cycle of being with an abusive man so she decided to divorce Ryle but you know they have their new child their new baby newborn baby Emerson so that was interesting and um, so now they're trying to like work out their um, co-parenting schedule and stuff like that so that's very interesting and she's trying to gain trust but obviously she can't trust him never again fully but also she ran into guess who she ran into Atlas so that was very interesting and they want to head back to the shore so they wanted to you know pick up to pick up where they left off but she's like we have to take it slow because um so it's becoming very complicated with Ryle and I mean not with Ryle with Atlas and Lily because obviously they want to you know move forward that's their true love but it's going to get really complicated because, you know, Ryle, ooh, Ryle still thinks that there's, he's still holding on to hope and faith. So he's going to get very furious if he knows that she's dating Ryle, dating Atlas. I don't know why I keep getting the names confused. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, so that's pretty much where we're at right now. And also, Atlas has another restaurant. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but both of his restaurants right now are getting mysteriously vandalized but with his um, you know I'm trying to wait for the wind to die down so you guys can probably hear me better so a little bit okay but we know with <laughs> with Atlas background and him being homeless and him doing the same thing kind of using abandoned house for shelter so he's like oh well what if this person is doing that that's very interesting his mom mysteriously calls so i'm just trying to get like all the tea so we'll see what happens next y'all but i really am rooting for lily and atlas to get together and they had their first little facetime and i'm just like oh this is so cute so i'm just i just i don't know and then they're gonna have like their first date and i'm so excited so we just got to see. But Alice, he's just so perfect. Like, oh gee. Mm -mm -mm. And right now I'm on page 56, by the way. Oh, and I love Atlas and Atlas' relationship with his therapist, Theo. I think that's so adorable. He's like 12 years old, and I think he's Brad's son. So I think that's really adorable. I love their bond, so that's really fun to read. Okay, so yeah, guys, I forgot to mention that we have Atlas Perspective. I always like the guy's perspective in books, so I'm excited. And most of her books, like November 9th, um, Hopeless, Reminders of Him, blah, 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 they both have the other, like, the two perspectives. So I'm really happy that this one has the, has Atlas Perspective. Like, that's so exciting. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all, like, my heart broke because in the, in the first book, we thought that Atlas went to stay with his uncle, but his uncle died. He was just telling her a lie so she wouldn't worry about him. I was like, no! So, yeah, that's... Ah. Consider it Atlas. <laughs> Love it.
So yeah, I was really excited to see that we have Atlas perspective because in book one we only had Lily's perspective. So I was really excited. And she does dual perspectives really, really good. So I was excited. He's gonna start making his notes. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, oh god. Oh, this is so just romantic. I love it. I can't wait to read what he put into his notes because I am highly excited about it and yes i want oh it's like his perspective with the inner perspective that's so cool okay guys so it's the next day i've been doing a lot of reading like off camera so we're doing a little update so i'm on page 202 now and a lot has happened and i'm like really excited everything's been moving on the up and up lily and atlas had like their first real date um so i was really excited about that and pretty much they went on a wedding lucy's wedding and then after that they left and they went back to her place and i was just like omg and um i love his like uh it was just so much passion and the fact that he saw the her tattoo and just the pain behind the tattoo and the memories behind the tattoo because of ryle biting it because he know it was meant, you know, it symbolizes the love that she has for Atlas. Um, so that was heartbreaking. And he said something, I forgot what page, but I remember he was like, if it takes a million kisses there to help her forget, like, what happened to her on that night, then I would kiss her, like, a one million times. And I was like, oh, MG, it's just Atlas is so amazing. So that was really romantic. And I also love his bond with uh theo which is brad's son that's like his 12 year old therapist and then i also love his new bond with his parent his brother who is like i think 12 as well and it's just really heartbreaking but i love that he's kind of like saving his brother now helping him not go through the same things he's been going through even though he has his brother been through a lot of stuff so i'm just really hoping that he gets custody of his brother so that's very interesting and it's just a lot going on y'all but i really turned on the camera and update you guys because i'm getting really nervous now like i'm holding my breath because he had to go back while um, alice had to leave lily um he didn't want to wake her but he left a note saying you know well we don't i don't know we don't know what the note says yet but just the fact that he's leaving a note is making me really nervous because i don't know like i'm afraid ryle is going to find the note and then things are going to pop off so i'm just really getting really nervous about that so we'll see i'm on page 202 now and my heart is pumping so we'll just have to see what happens next i'm really nervous though because i hope that ryle doesn't find that note because ryle will be good with the pop-ups he'll be popping up i said that in my last reading vlog in the other book he does a lot of pop-ups so i don't know i'm just nervous but let's see uh-oh y'all someone is at her door oh my gosh Ooh, I'm sweating. I can't even. Hmm. Uh oh. She got missed calls from Ryo. I'm shaking y'all. Oh my goodness. Things are about to hit the fan.
favorite parts of I really enjoyed when Lily and Atlas brother they were bonding. I love their bonding moment. I thought that was just the most heartfelt moment and it was just very it just made me tear up. I don't know, it was just very hard, you know, warming and she was just like be easy you're on your brother. He's just trying his best. Um and that he had like a rough childhood and he's just trying to like shield you from their toxic um environment and like their toxic mom so that was very just touched my heart and i love that they still hugs from each other like hugs are their like most um i guess like passionate thing they have going between each other and i think that's so cool and the next thing that I want to mention is the part where Tim, uh, not Tim. Uh, Alice's brother, he wants to go find his dad and it's very heartbreaking because Atlas knows his father Tim and he knows he's like no good so that was heartbreaking but he didn't want to be the one to like kind of not give him that opportunity so he let him you know find his dad that he was telling him the truth like you know what you deserve so that same common theme that the book is like what you deserve um and how you deserve to be treated so that was very just it was just like oh my gosh and so he he let josh you know decide and he his own his brother decided to stay with him and he said my family tree is you it didn't matter how big the family tree has to be and i'm like omg to me that was just uh, amazing and so true like it doesn't really matter how big or small your family tree is and it matters how like how real it is and the people that make it up not the quantity of it so yes guys and yeah so i'm really just excited to see how this ends i just want the best for them and yeah here we go also the i was really glad that atlas really sat down with with uh ryle Ryle came steaming into Atlas restaurant and my heart was like I was feeling I was like my heartbeat and so they got like you know they got to tussling and rustling but Atlas was mature enough to really like sit down with Ryle and said I would have never um you know hit my person that I'm trying to protect that I should be protecting and no matter how mad or whatever I was going through I would have never done that which you did and you failed at being a husband and that you know you should have been a better husband basically you should have treated lily better and i was like oh, wow oh, wow and that was just really atlas it's just amazing he just the way he can he's just so mature and so loving and so patient and i love that about him so we're gonna just see how these how it ends so let's get started so now I'm on page 294. It seems like everything is wrapping up pretty positive, like pretty smoothly and positively. And I'm just, I'm just filled with joy. It seems as though everything is going on the up and up. So I'm really happy about that. Um, Raul is getting anger management, and uh, Alyssa. Um, Marshall and his and Rao's mom there and of course Lily they like they had an intervention with him saying you need to get anger management and so that's been working pretty good and then um Atlas and his mother he pretty much reconciled with her and kind of wanted to wave the white flag like you we you're gonna sign the rights over to me to be the soul guardian of my of his brother but also we don't want to cut you out of you know his life completely so we're going to have you know weekly dinners so i'm like wow that is so beautiful so it's really just giving like understanding of just people in general and life in general and kind of just freeing yourself and a lot of healing i would say so now 
Lily is is reading a letter that Ryle that um I'm sorry that Atlas wrote for her, and I'm super excited. Atlas is just so deep and romantic, and I love it. And this is their half year anniversary, so I'm really excited for this. And this is just his perspective. I love getting his perspective and also his letters. And he's kind of like, this is how I remember things. And I'm just like, OMG. And Colleen Hoover, she's really gifted with doing male perspectives and just making these men so lovable. And I'm just so happy that this book has Atlas perspective and... Yes, that's what made me love November 9th. That November 9th was my first book that I read by Colleen Hoover, and that had the girl perspective and the guy perspective, Ben, and I just loved Ben. I pretty much love all of her guy characters that are like, you know, the main love interest that are like really nice. Um, So that's what made it like really difficult for me with Ryle, because I was like, OMG, to me, I thought the main thing was going to be she has to choose between two guys and of course maybe they're going to be fighting over her but i did not know that he was going to be abusive and just it really just broke my heart i was in pieces so yeah but yes but she just she does romance so good and you just feel the passion so but now we're going to read his letter and i'm excited page 294 remember your um nail polish and your nail polish name and the colors he remembers everything and this was the day when he was extremely sick and he, she was taking care of him oh my gosh this is just i'm getting all the feels you guys um gee said this was the exact moment when i knew i loved you he pretended he was asleep while she was kind of like caressing his face and his cheek and his jaw kind of like just caressing him while he was asleep and this is he said this was the exact moment that he knew I, he loved her oh my gosh he said i remember everything i love that when guys say that oh gee this is so cute My cheeks hurt from blushing and smiling so much. OMG. <sighs> Page 299. Wow. In his letter, in the way he remembers things, he remembers his first kiss was against her skin, where he buried his the i love you he wanted to say it but he couldn't so he just buried it on her neck and so seeing that she has a heart placed there and that's why he loves the kiss there oh my that's just so beautiful and that's why he said he said i had no idea you remember that kiss all the times i kissed you in that spot after that day even when i read it in your journal you rushed past it in a hurry to get to what you considered her extra first kiss was so i had no idea that it even meant anything to you until the moment i saw your tattoo i can't tell you what that means to me knowing that you have our heart placed in the very spot where I once secretly buried the words I love you. Oh man, oh man, that's too good. You did it again, Miss Colleen Hoover. You did it again. I want you to promise me something, Lily, when you look at that tattoo. I want you to think about it.
Mm -hmm. So while he was writing this, Josh had a stomach bug or sick. Oh, so it just all comes full circle. OMG. Lily just asked him, asked Atlas if she wanted him to come over to give him a hug and he said, do you mean, do you, he said, you mean do I need you to come home and give me a hug? And she says, I smile when he says that. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Do you need me to come home and give you a hug? He nods. I do, Lily. Come home. Oh my gosh, can you guys hear my heart? I don't know, but I'm just, I'm blushing all the way. Alright you guys, so I finished the book. And wow. I'm totally speechless right now. And Alice, I wish you to be my fish. I'm sorry. It's my wish for you to be my fish, Atlas. What a man. What a man. Wow. This was such a good conclusion to the, to the book, to the story. Wow. I just feel chills and goosebumps. It was really, really good. Definitely five stars from me. I felt like it was... I feel like it was just the perfect length. I didn't feel rushed. I feel like it was a perfect conclusion. I really liked knowing Atlas background and perspective and then also the healing of of um, Atlas and his mother and then with Josh and then the healing with Ryle and his therapy and giving anger management and then Marshall. He's such a I really love and appreciate Marshall. I really feel bad for him as well, but at least he can give honesty and really look at his friend and say, you're wrong, you you messed up, you were horrible. <sighs> wow, well, Colleen Hoover does, you know, she does it every time for me and I just love it. I feel like I'd be having the Colleen Hoover effect every time I finish a Colleen Hoover book. I don't know, it just does something to me. So yes, I definitely give this five stars. Definitely cried at a lot of parts. Definitely took pictures of a lot of pages and notes. I love that. Ugh, I, I just love Atlas' mental, how he processes things and how he looks, how he looks at life and just how he thinks. I just love how he thinks. And yes. And I really love how he like symbolized the tree of being Lily because of the strength and he just built around the tree that was growing in his restaurants. I love that. And I also love his symbolism with his restaurants like Bib to him. He loved Bib, but he also wanted to have his second restaurant, Corrigan. And he had that with, he protected that more because that's what he built himself. So he put more security with that and I was like, wow, he just, the way he thinks was just so spectacular and deep and as deep as the ocean and I love the Finding Nemo references because I, I used the Finding Nemo references a lot in my life. I love to swim. My brother taught me how to do the backstroke and my happiest memories are in the pool and just it being summertime and me swimming. So that's been one of my favorite lines. I have definitely used that in one of some of my own creative writing. So I really love that quote. So it was really funny that this romance was built around that. So yes, I definitely, I, I love both the books. I, I give them both five stars and I love them equally. It's not like I like one better than the other. I love them equally. They're the same story. Yes, I loved everything about both the books and just the make had me on a roller coaster, had me holding my breath. Ryo really had me trembling. So, yeah, and Ryo just was a shock to me because I, I loved him at the start, and then he, I had this great hatred and fear f of with him. So that was crazy. <sighs> wow. And then like.
like Lily, Lily is an amazing person as well. To be at that young age, knowing to, you know, not be mean to Atlas, to see him as a person and not make fun of him. That's really brave, especially with being that age, you want to just like fit in, but she just did her own thing, which I really just respect of her. And, um, yeah, she's tr trying to break the cycle with, you know, domestic abuse and domestic violence and as she saw with her parents and that's really just amazing that both of them went through horrible um childhoods growing up that was very toxic but they came out to be very beautiful people in the end so that says a lot about them as characters and their character development um and i just found it like yeah that was just amazing to me even though they were surrounded by toxicity they still were very beautiful loving compassionate people and i love that mm -mm -mm -mm. i just loved everything about this book i just really did about both of the books really so i feel like it's complete i feel like that was the conclusion that i needed i don't feel like i needed need more i don't feel like i was you know, I feel like it was a nice completion to the story, and I really enjoyed it. So, I'm really glad that I read these books. I'm kind of mad at myself that I it took me this long to read these books. Because these are, like, most of her popular ones. Um, but yes, um, another five stars for Colleen Hoover. I rated every single book from her five stars. Um, like I said before, I read November 9th. I read Hopeless. I read Reminders of Him. Those are the books that I own. And then I read Verity. So I also have Ugly Love from the library. So I'm going to read that pretty soon as well. That might be my next read. I don't know what I'm going to read next. We will see. But yes, thank you guys for watching this vlog. And just keep on loving. Bye.